to another another box of shiny goodness from MetaZoo UFO. We're going to crack some more UFO for your viewing pleasure. It's pretty much guaranteed, I think, to be better than our last UFO box. That was very rough in terms of duplication. But... <laughs> uh, for those who have watched the other video, our uh, hits were non-stop burning spirit imprints and Proctor Valley monsters. So that is not a good sign that is trolling me from the very start getting the two cards back to back. Static Snowstone, okay, we're on to some new cards. It's just a reverse and we no, it's okay, static snowstone. Different card. We didn't get that in the last video. That's a good sign. We're on to a good sign now. We've had a bad sign and we've got the bad luck out of the way and we're on to some good hits now. Come on, good hits, good hits. Oh. Back to back. Static Stos names in reverse. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Pocket Dimensional in reverse. With the Burning Spirit imprint, of course. Of course, of course it is. Of course it is. But we're seeing different cards to our previous box, so I don't mind that. And, okay, San Pedro. Don't see it, well, I haven't seen it that often. I think it came up a lot in our early UFO videos, but don't see it too often now. We do, oh, really? Two full hollows, two full hollows so far. And they're the trolls from the previous video. What are the odds? We like getting strange odds here. Don't you dare. Hey, Dragon's Rise. Dragon's Rise, we haven't seen that for a little while. That's okay, it is a very common card. It, it, does appear quite a lot but in terms of our recent UFO breaks that's something we haven't seen for a bit. Pocket Dimension Orb in reverse okay and a Sunset Finality Orb we're getting a lot more reverses we're already up to four reverses and that's all we hit in the last video and we've barely made a dent into the packs. It